Hi guys, this video is the new additions part 2 video and this is the other new addition I actually got this as you can see is a Tanzanian whip scorpion um, and I did used to have another female of this uh, you probably seen from my Southwest Tarantulas review and she actually died, she had a bad molt unfortunately so she died um, and I decided to buy another female just so my males it becomes sort of a complete pair so that I can try and breed them as there's not many of the actual Tanzanian tailless whip scorpion captive breads in captivity so she's very gentle um, they're not really an aggressive species and she's actually a little bit bigger than my other female so hopefully they will breed um, now I'm going to pause the video and I will show you their actual new setup as I've removed the slate so back to their setup, I've actually removed the um, slate that I had in the cage as I found it wasn't very suitable for them to climb on. They had trouble climbing on it. So I actually bought this decent sized piece of cork bark that covers the whole of the height of the cage. Um, and they actually find this a lot better to climb on and they move more in the cage. So as you can see there's actually the male on the back wall there. I've used some material just so the wall isn't slidey as the glass and as you can see the female's back on her piece of cork bark. So I'll move on to the other new additions that I got on Tuesday. So this is actually another Tanzanian whip scorpion that I actually got. I actually bought the last two that was uh, left. Um, and this is another male. This is only a temporary cage as I can't put them in with the other male just because they may fight and kill each other. So similar setup. I've got it set up with some eco over on the bottom in a feeder cricket tub and some of the material on the back it's actually doing well in this and uh, before I got it it actually molted um, and has been feeding really well on the crickets as you can see on the floor there um, in this sort of environment it will be being moved into a larger enclosure but at the time being it's in this so this is my other new addition you may be able to see it just climbing it back into the dirt there this is actually a Spiderling curly hair tarantula. Um, this is actually a new one for me as most of the tarantulas I actually keep are, well in fact, all of the other tarantulas I keep are all old world tarantulas. Um, whereas this is classed as a new world tarantula. Basically all of the tarantulas that don't come from the Americas, so North or South America, are classed as um, old world tarantulas and any Tarantulas from the Americas are classed as New World. So these guys originate in Honduras. Um, and I'll get on to the other new additions. I've got. As you can see in the corner, this is my other new addition. And it's actually a Dark Earth Tiger Sling. Um, I actually got two of these guys. Um, and I've got them in this sort of setup as they're this old. Um, I'll show you the other one. So here's the other one. Um, these guys are actually feeding really well on small crickets. Um, I started them off first of all on fruit flies. And I thought I'd try a small cricket in there with them. See if they'll take it. And they actually did. Um, they get it quite well. These are quite small at the moment. However, as adults they do get quite large. And they're a very aggressive species um, from Thailand. And also found in other parts of Asia. Um, so thanks for watching the video guys. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed um, and I will be uploading a full collection video next week thanks for watching guys